Hello, this is Andrew Van Til from MissingRemote.com, back again to uh, demonstrate the 3D capabilities of PowerDVD 11. So, down here, you'll notice that um, there's a little 3D button. So right now, I don't have it set up to um, automatically enable 3D, but if I want to do that, you just click it and you see how it turns into um, a three-dimensional cube down here. So I've already got um, a 3D movie um, in the drive, and um, over here we have resource monitor, which um, should show the um, let me move it up a little bit. Should show the um, CPU over here, and then Power DVD and Power DVD 11 um, with their uh, CPU numbers right there. So let's start up movie. See now that the display is flipped into um, 3D mode automatically. You can confirm that by um, turning on the uh, picture mode, the menu for the picture mode. You can see on the top it says 3D. Um, you also notice that the picture gets a lot brighter and uh, things are pretty blurry now. So I'm going to skip right to the uh, movie. Notice right here in the information, um, it shows MPEG-4 MBC, which is the uh, format used for frame sequential Blu-ray. We can select the menu. Still can't select the menu. There we go. So we'll just go to a scene. So the interesting thing here is you'll notice that the power DVD process is running at about two to six with an average of looks like 4.3 percent CPU um, decoding uh, 3D frame sequential NBC uh, Blu-ray. So we're going to stop this and then we're going to play back a DVD, which we also have in the drive. See the display flips back out of um, 3D back to the, the 2D mode. So we're going to start up the, blue, the uh, DVD now. And now because I have this 3D mode enabled, it's going to do a, a real-time 3D conversion. Oh, it flipped out. So let me turn it back on again and uh, resume the disk. So you can see we flipped into 3D mode again, this time for a DVD playback. And um, you can kind of see that they have um, the picture looks a little bit funky, which is normal when looking at 3D with, um, you know, without the glasses on. Okay, this is all I had to show for the 3D mode for PowerDVD 11. Enjoyed it.